I'm going to record the meeting. Okay, well, welcome everyone to our team call. We are going to go through, I'm going to share the screen here. We're going to go through a call that I have created for you guys, and it's all about communication as a coach. And being a coach, obviously one of our biggest roles is to inspire others and to lead them by example. And the only way that we can inspire and that we can lead is if we're communicating with people and we're communicating with them. So I really think that this is a very important skill set that every coach needs to have is to be able to be a good communicator. Some of us are better at it naturally than others, but it's definitely something that we can all learn and that we can all become better at. One of the biggest things that I've learned as a coach is that who I am today does not define my future and what I can become. And I would always, always, always look at things that I wanted to do and decide if I was going to do them based on who I was today. And where I am today, I have lots of flaws and shortcomings. But once I changed my mindset and realized that I can have goals that are bigger than who I am today because I do have the capacity to grow and to change and to improve and to get better at everything. And communication is one of those things that takes a little bit of work, but we can get better at it, absolutely. So before we start our call, I wanna do our affirmations. And this is something that I just, I like to do before every call, just to get our mind in the right place and to just remind ourselves of who we are and why we're here, why we're even taking time for this team call. So the affirmation that I have for today is that you have value and great potential. Your limits are defined by your mind. Today is a new day. Yesterday is gone. And today we choose to be as amazing as we want to be. So having that in mind, let's move on to recognition. I am very proud to recognize Jessica Nelson as my top coach for the week. Last um, month in March, she hit Success Club 2 and she signed up one coach. And she already has a list of 30 people ready to invite um, if you haven't already filled in that document, it's in our team page under the file section. You can edit it and just put your name and a list of 30 names. If you don't have 30 names already, that's fine. Put as many names as you can, and before the month is up, you will just shoot for having 30 names on that list. So good job, Jessica, and I'm excited to see what this month will bring for you in April. All right, so leaders need to communicate. Coaches need to communicate, and we need to communicate often, and we need to communicate clearly. And for some of us who are introverts, that can be a little bit difficult because we tend to be all up in our heads. We, we have lots of thoughts, we have lots of ideas, we, we know what the challenge packs have done for us, or we know what the coaching opportunity has the potential to do, but it's all up in our heads and we think we've communicated it but something that I heard is that what if you've communicated something to a group of people 21 times you've only just begun to um, reach them they're only just beginning to grasp what you're trying to say and that blew my mind because I feel like well I said it once you know they should they should get it but that's not how it works and people often need to hear something over and over and over again before it sinks in, before it really registers on their radar. And I think that especially for introverts or people who don't want to be pushy, um, we can under communicate. And that really doesn't serve the people that we are trying to help because they're just not getting it. They're busy. They have a lot on their newsfeed. I was listening to um, a podcast by Shalene Johnson and she was saying that because of all the media exposure that we have today, like our brains literally cannot handle or process all of the information that we get every day. We're reading the equivalent of seven full newspapers, cover to cover. That's how much we're reading every single day, just from scrolling through our news feeds. So because people are processing so much information, for your message to really stand out and to really come to the forefront and register with people, you have to communicate often and you have to be extremely clear 
in how you communicate with people. So part of being clear and stating what you want um, is, sorry, part of being clear and communicating is stating what you want. And stating what you want is not being bossy, it's not being pushy, it's being clear. You have to be courageous. You have to ask for exactly what you want and make it very easy for people to know um, how to be helped by you, what you have to offer for them. Here's some examples of some vague posts, posts that are not going to register, are not clear. So if you, you know, if you write something like, I've been really loving the 21 day fix. Anyone want to join me? Um, you're not, you're not really, I mean, there's a question in there, but it's not clear. And the 21 day fix people may not have no idea what that is. So it's just not going to register. If people can't figure out what you're saying in like two seconds, it, they're just going to move on. And like I said, there's so much information coming at them on social media. It's just not going to register. Um, or if you say something like, my coach is running a challenge group, let me know if you want to get healthy. Um, again, that's, it's very vague. Or let's get healthy, we can do it together. Now these posts aren't terrible, and it's fine to pepper them in. But when it comes to making an actual post to invite people to a challenge group, like this is like your big invite, like you really want to um, be clear on what you're doing and motivate people to respond, these types of posts are not going to cut it. Here is a better uh, example of a clearly worded post. And it's broken up into three sections. The first section is in blue, and that's where you are going to share your story and share why you love this program. This is where you want to motivate people and connect them to who you are and what you're doing. Something like this, I thought there was no hope for me. I almost reserved myself to a perpetually unhealthy lifestyle. I took a leap of faith and started the 21 day fix. It changed my eating habits, it strengthened my body, I lost 30 pounds in three months. So there is so clearly worded, like this is where I was, this is what I did, and this is the result of what I did. I was having no hope, I took a leap of faith, and this is what happened to me. I had better eating habits, I strengthened my body, I lost weight. Then you ask, oh, sorry. Then you wanna ask for what you want. I want to help other women who feel how I felt to succeed with 21 Day Fix. I want to help inspire others that you can feel alive and confident in your own skin again. So it doesn't sound bossy, right? You, but you are stating very clearly this is what I want to do. These are my goals for this group. I want to help women. I want to inspire others. And then the last one is a call to action. So you're making it very clear and easy for people who are reading this to know what you expect them to do next. Comment below or message me if you're interested to learn more. So these three components are key to any clearly worded post and are key to helping people really um, instantly connect with who you are in your story, know what you want to accomplish, and then understand what next step they should take if they want to. So the first component that was in blue, share your story. Tell them why you love the program. Be motivating by sharing your story. And it can even be, it doesn't even have to be as long as what I put there. It could even be as short as, I really wanted a slice of pizza, but I had my challenge group to keep me accountable. It's like one sentence, but in that sentence, you're sharing you know, what, where you were and how the challenge group helped you. And, and people relate to that. People relate to wanting a slice of pizza. And people are motivated by the thought that an accountability group could help them say no to their cravings. So say what you want in the next section. I want to help, I want to encourage, I want to lead, I want to motivate, I want to inspire. Be bold. You know, and it may feel uncomfortable, but it only feels uncomfortable to you. People like being told what to do. People like being told um, what your goals are. It helps them to follow. It helps them to understand, oh, she wants to take an interest 
in my life. And it even can help to change the perception that you're in it to sell and it changes it to you're in it to help. You're in it to encourage. You actually are going to play a vital role in their success. You're not just interested in pushing product. And so, and that's true, but if you don't say it, if you don't make it clear, then people aren't going to understand what it is a coach does, what this challenge group is that you're inviting them to, unless you tell them what you want and what your goals are. And then give a call to action. Be specific. Make it easy. Use action words like comment below, message me, click this link. You know, tell people what you want them to do. And this can even be used um, not just for, you know, if you're inviting people to a challenge, but even if you just want them to like your post or comment on your post. Because as we all know, the more likes and comments that you get on Facebook, the more people are going to see your post. So if your friend likes or comments on your post, much of her network is going to see your post even if they're not your friends and they're not connected to you. Just because she liked it, it now reaches a larger audience. So I would encourage you, especially posts that are really adding value like a recipe or a healthy tip or a motivational quote, you know, don't be afraid to ask people to do what you want. Like, like this post if it was inspirational to you or comment below if you can relate to what I'm going through. Tell people what you want them to do. That makes it easier. So we need to communicate clearly as leaders and then we also need to communicate often. And I kind of spoke about this at the beginning. But you need to say the same thing over and over and over again. I went back a year into my posts on Facebook, and I'm pretty much saying the same thing now that I was saying a year, a year ago. Um, but you don't want to be annoying about it, so it does take a little bit of work to figure out how to say the same thing in different ways. And that's something that I would really encourage you guys, if you don't already do this, to take a little bit of time, at least maybe once a week um, with no distractions, with no, you know, like no internet around you. And just like, I like to go out to a park with my notebook and just think about, okay, what do I want to communicate to people this week? And how could I communicate that? So maybe one week, I just want to communicate to people that they matter, that their health matters. And so I'll just write down, you know, I'll just write down like, you matter, your health matters, you know, you're worth it, you're worth investing in your health. And I'll just start writing down phrases and try and think of different ways that I could tell people the same thing. Because I need to communicate something often for it to sink in. But I don't just want to write, you matter, you matter, you matter every single day. Obviously, that's not going to be, <laughs> people are going to get annoyed by that. Um, but, you know, and then I can even say, okay, well, how does my story communicate that? Okay, well, I thought I didn't matter. I thought my kids mattered more than I did. And maybe there are other moms who feel the same way. So I could share a little bit of my story and then at the end say, listen, you do matter. Take it from me. Like, it's going to be better for your family if you invest in your own health. So just, just taking a little time and letting your mind be creative and thinking about what you want to communicate and how to say the same thing in different ways is so, so beneficial. I've had so many people say, Vanessa, you know, your posts really spoke to me. They really stood out to me. That was just what I needed to hear. And that doesn't just come out of nowhere. Like I really, I mean, it does and it doesn't, but I really do try to take time and make space. You have to make space for this to sit and, and let my mind be creative. Um, and it actually isn't so hard. Like sometimes I just need a little bit of coffee. Caffeine gets me going <laughs> and nature gets me going. So I'll just grab a cup of coffee. I'll sit down at a park. I have this park that I love. It's overlooking a lake with my notebook, no internet to distract me, no phone. I'll turn my phone off and it only takes like 10 or 15 minutes and I feel refreshed and I feel like I have a game plan. I have something that I want to communicate with people and it's not so hard to think of things to post. Um, you do want to be posting three to five times a day on social media. And I know that sounds like a lot. Um, one thing that my coach told me is try to think of it as something in the morning, something in the afternoon, something at night. 
Um, so breakfast, lunch, and dinner, if you will. Um, and I tend to do something motivational in the morning, um, maybe my workout picture or something that has really inspired me for my personal development that I'm reading. And then in the afternoon, maybe a food tip or something funny that my kids did or just keeping it light in the afternoon. And then at night, I don't know, something about my team. I, you know, things come to you as you're just living life, as you're making your shake. And you, oh, oh my gosh, I just made, I've always heard of it. And I thought it sounded disgusting, but I just made it for my kids because they wanted it. It's a peanut butter and jelly shakeology. It's like strawberry shakeology, but you add a scoop of peanut butter. It was so good. And I've heard of it forever. I've known about this recipe forever. And it was so, so good. So just something like that. I was like, okay, I got to post this recipe because what was I thinking to not try it? I'm sure there's other people who are like, ew, that sounds gross. And I need to tell them because it's so good. So just stuff like that as you're going along your life, as you're drinking your Shakeology and reading your personal development and interacting with your team and having conversations with people, stuff just comes up. So if you can think breakfast, lunch, and dinner, I want to try and share something on social media. And you really just want to post about Beachbody about 20% of the time. So if you're doing 21 posts a week, that's three, day, three times a day or 35 posts a week if you're doing five times a day then your total posts in a week are only going to be four about Beachbody or seven if you're posting a lot. Um, so again, that, that really keeps you from becoming salesy, but it does keep you consistently on people's radars. It keeps you consistently sharing about your journey. Um, and that is, as we know, very important. Okay, so why should I do this? Why should I care about communicating effectively? Why should I care about being consistent. Well, consistency inspires confidence and clarity motivates people and it makes it easy for them to follow you. And being direct, it helps people. Like we were talking about, you know, when somebody tells it to you straight, when somebody is completely honest, when somebody is clear as day and not not, you know, beating around the bush and really ambivalent and vague, like you can't follow someone like that. You don't know what what it, what do you really want? What are you even doing as why should I join your group? I don't get it. You know, people aren't going to stop and message you and say, um, excuse me, when you posted that last post, I didn't really get what you were talking about. Could you explain to me what exactly you mean? Like, nobody's going to do that. If they don't get it, they're moving on. And so it really is important to be as clear as possible. All right, so after every team call, I want to give you guys an assignment. And this is because we can listen to a call and it can be really great be really inspired but if we don't take action on what we've heard it kind of doesn't really do us any good so your assignment based on this call is to craft a post to invite people to your next group. and I want you to use that structure of share your story tell them exactly what you want and give them a call to action there's no need to make frills or fluff about this you know sharing your story is as simple as how did you used to feel what did you do about it and how do you feel now? I used to feel unhealthy, I, took, I did the 21 day fix, now I feel great. I mean, that's the basic premise. You have to fill in your own details. But it really doesn't have to be crazy. And even other posts that aren't maybe inviting people to a particular challenge group, but you can still follow that framework of sharing your story. Like, I wanted a slice of pizza, my group kept me from eating it, you know, I want to be that accountability for others. Message me if you want to be my accountability partner. Like something, it, it can be so, so simple. And in fact, simple is often better than these long rambling posts. I mean, every once in a while, those are nice because you give people a deeper look into who you are. But sometimes those simple, super clear, no fuss, you know, really great way. So your assignment, craft a post to invite people to the next group. And then craft a post almost like a script. You heard Meredith talk about scripts. Scripts are awesome. I have um, a Mac and on my Mac I have this app called Notes and I can, it syncs with my notes on my phone. So I can kind of work on my computer and then have it on my phone and I have scripts for when people message me asking about a challenge group and I just copy and paste it. And then, you know, maybe I'll tweak a few things here and there on what you asked about but scripts are awesome. Scripts help you just when you're exhausted 
and you get a message to not either learn on it or put it off for a couple of days because you're stressed and you don't want to deal with it. Well, if you have a script that you can just copy and paste, then, you know, you could be zombie tired and just copy and paste, change a few things and you're done. And you've contacted that person with exactly what you want to say because it's already been pre-crafted. So I want you to craft a post to send as a personal message, inviting someone to a challenge and inviting someone to the coaching opportunity. And again, use that framework. Here's, you know, here's who I was before the challenge group. Here's the challenge that I did. And here's how I felt afterwards. Do you want to join me? Would you like to, you know, experience what I've experienced? I think you, I think it would be amazing for you. Done. That's it. You're good. Um, so I hope that this call was helpful. I hope that it gave you a little bit more of an idea of how to be clear as a coach. Again, this is something that we all can grow in. Um, some co a coach that I personally just turned on the light to this for me was Melanie Mitro. She is like so not flowery and not like she is just like business, you know, she, but she's so good at clearly, simply, and, and just very, very effectively communicating with people because she doesn't, she doesn't wander and she doesn't meander. Like she's just like, hi, I'm Melanie Mitro. I'm a mom. This is what I did in sanity. And you know, it changed my life. And now I'm a coach and I help people and I make money. Do you want to do it with me? Like she's so just boom, 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 boom. And it's so helpful because sometimes I listen to other coaches videos and they're kind of like, hi, you know, thanks for watching. I'm a coach. You know, I started blah, blah, blah. And they like go on these rabbit trails and then they come back. And honestly, like I've got kids running around distracting me. I don't have time to listen to like all this crazy stuff. I mean, maybe later I want to get to know Melanie Mitchell a little bit better and I want her more wandering. But honestly, like. I, I track with someone who is clear and sets a course for this is what I'm going to tell you in my video and then they tell it to me and then, and then that's it. So anyways, if you want to check out Melanie Mitro, she's a master at this. You can watch some of her videos. You can even reading her blogs. She's just very good at communicating clearly and it's a skill that you definitely can learn. Um, once you do your assignment, I would love for you to either post it in the group. I can start another file that kind of says, you know, Team Stronger Together scripts, and you can post your scripts there, um, or you can just send them to me, but definitely post them for other people to see because we need each other to be, you know, there may be some things that you say in your, in your posts that are not clear because we're all starting off, we all need to improve, and having other people's eyes on your posts can just help really laser focus them and really clear them up and clean them up so that at the end you have something that you feel confident copying and pasting to anyone and you know that it's going to be really effective. So I'm going to stop the share and stop our recording. Thank you guys for watching.